cards. Absolutely. <laughs> Back to the news and Sydney police will come under further scrutiny over the shooting of two teenagers in Kings Cross as new pictures emerge of the aftermath of the chaos. The New South Wales Ombudsman will review an internal police probe into Saturday night's events. The 14 and 18 year old victims remain in hospital. David Shoebridge is a Greens member in the New South Wales Upper House. He's calling for a completely independent investigation of these shootings. David, why don't you think the police investigation is good enough here? Well, this cannot be an incident where we're satisfied with police investigating police. There are very serious questions raised by the whole course of conduct of police on the night, from the initial drawing of a firearm and shooting at the occupants of the vehicle on a busy, crowded street, to the quite shocking footage that I think many of us have seen of that young driver being dragged bleeding from the car and then being punched by a police officer. Now, you also want an independent body to be set up specifically to investigate incidents like this of police shootings. Isn't that what uh, the Police Integrity Commission is actually for? Well, that's what many people think the Police Integrity Commission is for, but it doesn't, in, in fact, perform that task here in New South Wales. It has a discretion about whether it investigates, and 99% of the time they choose not to do an initial investigation. Now, I've referred this one to the Police Integrity Commission, asking them to do that initial investigation. I've got to say I'm not very hopeful that they will. What we need is an independent statutory body whose sole job is to investigate these critical incidents. It's not groundbreaking in terms of international policing. They have this same system in England and Wales, which investigates these very kinds of incidents, where there's a killing at the hands of police or allegations of excessive police force, works enormously well. And it gets there on site in that golden hour to secure the evidence and come to the truth of matters. And we've had a very sorry history here in New South Wales of oversight bodies and indeed police not getting to the truth of police incidents. Well, good to get your take on it tonight, David. Thanks so much for your time. No, my pleasure, sir. Time now for the news from around the world. It's a loss for